Hey, what's happening to you guys? Privacy and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be me giving you guys my first impression on Fire Emblem Tree Houses. Now, I wanted to kind of give you guys my first impression coming from a guy who's never played a Fire Emblem game before. Um, I have done no research, I have done no watching of live streams or gameplays of this game whatsoever. I legitimately went into this game blind. And honestly, I am absolutely impressed by how amazing this game truly is. Now, um, like, I, like I said before, I have no experience with Fire Emblem games. Um, but over the weekend, I've put in more than 10 hours into this game. And I obviously play the game on classic mode and on the highest difficulty. Because we ain't no bitches around here. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But if you want to play the game on an easier difficulty, you can do so. There's no shaming. But for... for but for me personally, I do like to play my games um, with a bit of a challenge. So I am, um, like I said before, I played it on classic mode because I, I wanted to get the full Fire Emblem experience and I played it on the highest difficulty, which I didn't know why because I'm a new person to the Fire Emblem series, but I decided, you know what, like I said before, we ain't no bitches around here. So I played it on the highest difficulty and I think I amassed about 10 hours of gameplay and, I, and I'm Pretty much currently at chapter 6 right now and I don't know if this is a really great thing to boast about but I've only lost one character and that character was a necessary sacrifice to win that battle so listen I'll always remember you I forgot your name but <laughs> I remember your sacrifice my man and um, he's the big I chose the golden deer house so he's the big buff guy that seems to love eating meat and all that stuff so you know he he, he was a great guy but Raphael, that's his name, Raphael. Um, Raphael, you were a great sacrifice, but I needed to do what I had to do. But anyways, like I said before, the voice acting in this game is absolutely phenomenal. Like, every character is able to convey various emotion, and it never felt stale. Like, I felt so immersed listening to these characters tell their stories, tell their background. And, you know, this game does a really good job in helping you kind of get attached to these characters so that when you end up losing them it's gonna hurt for for me Raphael I didn't really care too much about him so when I lost him I was like like I wanted to keep all my characters alive but well actually when I say alive I don't mean like they die because even though I, I lost Raphael I still see him around the um, campus and I still see him you know talking to me so it's like maybe I just lost the ability to use him but He's not. He doesn't show up in cutscenes anymore. He doesn't show up in anything else. But he's still technically alive. I don't know what the deal is with that. I thought maybe if they die on the battlefield, they die permanently. But whatever. And um, like I said before, voice acting is amazing. The visuals are um, amazing as well. Um, the gameplay-wise, like for me, like I said before, I'm a brand new um, player to the um, Fire Emblem series, so I can't tell you how refined this playstyle is from previous games but i have to say i really do enjoy the tactical um options that you get in the in, on the battlefield like you know the various tile sets the various um units that you can have it, it's a very intriguing um gameplay style that in the past i've just i think the reason why i've never gotten into the fire emblem series is because when i got my i guess the nintendo ds i just never pictured that game on my handset i don't know why but but yeah you know um i've been enjoying it very much i know that there's about hmm, 12 chapters i believe in this game and i'm already halfway through it so it's been a very interesting experience i'm gonna try and slow it down a little bit i am trying to level up my units to, so that they can all survive a little bit but for the most part it is what it is um now many of you guys probably are wondering why i chose the golden um the golden deer as well it was pretty simple most it was the only house with the most waifus i'm gonna be honest with you and also the um the house reminds me a lot of the black bulls from black clovers so they have this vibe to it that just feels very reminiscent to um the black bulls so it's like okay if i'm gonna be spending a lot of time with these houses i want to at least have some interesting characters with interesting backgrounds from various um you know lineage so we have the nobles we have the commoners and the golden years has a balance of the two personally i don't know it just feels like that to me none of them feel like actual nobles who are obviously talking high uh, mannerism or whatever the case may be but yeah 
That's just my thoughts and opinion on it. I feel like if you've never played a Fire Emblem game like me, but you're it very interested in playing um, tactical RPGs, and you have a Switch, I would just, I would suggest um, just picking it up. Nintendo has been on an absolute roll, um, releasing three major titles, three major successful titles in the summer alone. So we have Mario Maker, we have um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, and now we have Fire Emblem Three Houses. Like Nintendo has been doing absolutely well, extremely well with their releases of titles. So this is one title that you definitely should at least try out. It's really good, like the story is very interesting and very intriguing. Now obviously, I don't know the full extent of the Fire Emblem story, so obviously I have to go back and kind of do some background lore and learning and stuff like that, but you know, you don't have to technically know the full extent of the Fire Emblem hi um, history and story. Like You can go into this completely blind and still be able to understand what goes on within the world itself. Now I have to talk about the um, professor aspect of the game because I do enjoy that aspect, like the ability to go and teach your students, like raise them up and see how they grow from simple students to powerful warriors on the battlefield. Like that is the aspect that I really enjoy as well. Um, walking around the, I guess the, the the university, it's like a Hogwarts style thing. So there's competition between different schools. There's various activities that you can do as well. Like you can do fishing, you can have dinner with your students um, and all that other stuff. And the characters, they, like all of them, even aside from the students themselves, the other characters like the, uh, like the teachers and the soldiers, they all just tell an interesting story. And before you realize it, you start to remember certain characters and personality traits and all that stuff. Like it's a very interesting experience, personally. So yeah, if, if, if anything, I'm very impressed, very, very impressed with Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, if, you, if you are playing the game, let me know what house you chose and why. Uh, I know choosing the houses was the most difficult aspect ever because when you're choosing the, um, the houses, you're choosing them based on the characters that are within the houses, personally. Now you, you can, you can um, recruit certain characters from different houses to your own class, but you just have to level up your professor or you have to build up the relationship with those characters. But personally, at the beginning you have to choose a house and that was the most difficult aspect. It took me a while, like I was doing unnecessary amount of research trying to figure out which house I wanted which is the great house because obviously you're gonna spend a lot of time with these characters and if you don't if you don't like their personality it's it, it could affect your playstyle personally but anyways yeah uh, let me know what you guys think i'm paris and i'll catch you guys next time peace